So things are getting out of control uh, with the rhetoric and propaganda around Ukraine, right? So what you have to do is you turn the people of Russia into animals, enemies. The same thing we did with the Muslims, right? They're not like us. Muslims, their religion, it's it's backwards and they're old, as opposed to our religions. <laughs> it's a clash of civilizations, Jimmy. Right. <laughs> they they had they had to do the Iraq war and Libya as a, and Afghanistan as a class of civilizations. And ours is, of course, better and more woke. And more, so that so they're doing it now over this war in Ukraine. Right. So now in Ukraine, by the way, we got in bed with all those people we claimed were animals. Right. The Al Qaeda, El Nusra, the ISIS. We got in bed with them in Syria. We funded them. And we paid them, and they're our buddies in Syria, just so you know. So that idea that we're against ISIS and Al-Qaeda is a lie. So now we have someone else to de demonize, and we have to demonize Russians, Russian people, right? And so they're doing it. And so here, uh, this is the kind of racist BS they are now spreading in the EU. This NATO advisor, Florence Gaub, spews her version of Nazi Germany's trope of untermenschen. 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 USA is the Vietnam War also claimed in the Vietnam War also claimed that Asians just don't care about death like us. That's what they used to say about Asians, that they don't care about death like us. So now yeah. let's listen to what's now. Uh, you could keep it low because I'm going to read what she says. OK, so you don't have to turn it all the way down, but just a little. OK, so she says we should not forget even if Russians look European, they are not European. In a cultural sense, they think differently about violence or death. You mean they're more hardened or what? Well, yes, she says. They have no concept of a liberal postmodern life. They think they're like animals. A concept of life that each individual can choose. They're not as good as us. Instead, life simply can end early with death, they, she says. Russian life expectancy is quite low, you know, she says. It's 70 for men. That's why they treat death differently, the, the, that people simply die. Well, I well if, they, said that. <laughs> if they died at 70, you would think they would value life a little more. Because yeah, if they right. have less of it, it becomes more valuable, as opposed to people in the West who live to be 80, 90, 100 years old. We have more time. And so we would think logically we'd value life less because we have more of it. And they would. But anyway, that's exactly what. So that's called. Um, what would be the name for that? I don't even know what you would call that, but it's they're, they're trying to de, they're trying to dehumanize a yeah. whole uh, race of people. I don't know. Right. Russians or an ethnicity of yeah, people. Right. And so we can kill them. That's what this is about. Uh, it's like what her description sounds like everybody around the world who lives in abject poverty, which I didn't even know they were doing that bad that, <laughs> that she's called like is the, the idea of like, you know, if you're going to die tomorrow, so you just you don't have a sense of future. You're just like, hey, yeah. if I die, I die, you get fatalistic. Yeah, it's amazing. They use this one note trick for every every single time they do the same exact every single time they don't that these people that we have to kill are not like us their their culture is beneath us they're primitive they don't get it and so we are gonna have to have a close a clash of civilizations which is what that woman's talking about their civilization is not as good as our civilization and we have to beat their civilization that's I what just this, heard is. this it feels like i just heard this for the war on terror in fact oh i gave you jokes for oh did you why didn't you tell me I did. I texted uh, Misha and you and said, tell Jimmy if he doesn't see. Oh, uh, I, uh, I didn't see the text. Fuck. Hang on. Where are the jokes? Hang on. Oh, look. You, I mean, they're in your email. Uh, well, just for the next one. I didn't mean like. Okay. Oh, D oh you did. Uh, okay, so I fucked up. But anyway, uh, here, slide four. Uh, so this woman, an EU drone on German TV, explained that Russians simply don't value human life the same way we do in the West. Also, she said Russians might look like Europeans, but they're not. Where have I heard a German speaker dehumanizing <laughs> Russians before? Wow. Okay. They look like Europeans, but they're not. Aren't Russians awfully close to Ukrainians? I think Ukrainians are closer <laughs> to the Russians than they are to Europeans. Yes, you would think, right? So here, uh, sad echo from the past. It would be a mistake to evaluate it by the standard of Western Europe. The people of the Soviet Union live at a level of br brutish primitiveness that we can hardly imagine. You know who said that? Goebbels. 
Joseph Goebbels said that in 1943 about the Russians. And now there's now the Germans are saying it about the Russians again. Oh. Isn't that kind of interesting? Do you, do you remember when we were going to go bomb Afghanistan back to the Stone Age back and all the, the generals yes. said, they're already in the Stone Age, but we're going to bomb them anyway. Like, That's right. Here's one more. In German, I'm German myself, and I've noticed many Germans falling for the same shit again in real time. I've always asked myself, how could this have happened 100 years ago? Now I know. But this happening in the age of information, no excuse this time, is still shocking, though, to say the least. And this is what Russiagate was leading up to. This is why they allowed Joe Biden to get out of Afghanistan, because they were going to start another never-ending war in Ukraine. And this is how Russia... And look at the dupe. Look at this moron... Uh, do so this. There is no time for a full review or a measured analysis or recommendations to prevent interference in our future elections because permitting Donald Trump to assume the office of president reduces the chance that we will have any future elections. The nation and all of our freedoms hang by a thread and the military apparatus of this country is about to be handed over to scum who are beholden to scum. Russian scum. Oh, that's why we can't fight Russia. They our our military is beholden to them. <laughs> We're beholden. <laughs> we they they handed over our military to Russian scum. Scum. We Russian scum. So insert anything else. Insert Israeli scum, Mexican scum, Jewish scum. Any other country. Just go ahead and insert it. Sounds horrible. But for but but you're allowed to say that. Why? Because the establishment wants you to hate Russian people because they have a war they have to go blow a trillion dollars on. They have a fossil fuel war, which is what this is. And the military apparatus of this country is about to be handed over to scum who are beholden to scum, Russian scum. And so now you know why Russiagate was as uh, deleterious as it was and why I was telling you guys like that are not to be listened to because that guy is Trump. That guy is Trump. When was the military apparatus not handed over to scum, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing live stand-up shows in Cleveland, Columbus, Pittsburgh, Des Moines, Omaha, Kansas City, Las Vegas, all over the country. Go to jimmydorcomedy.com for a link for tickets. And single tickets now available at all venues. So if you tried to buy one before and you couldn't, single tickets are now available. Plus, while you're at JimmyDorkConry.com, why don't you become a premium member? Sign up to our mailing list so when they cancel us, we can still stay in touch. 